Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Robbie from Virtual Table, and today I'm gonna to be making mochi ice cream from scratch. Minus the ice cream part. Here we have mochiga flour, some sugar, water, cornstarch, a bowl I can microwave, parchment paper, and for the measurements, we're gonna have 3 fourths cup water, 3 fourths cup cornstarch, 3 fourths cup sweet rice flour or mochiga flour, and 1 fourth cup of sugar. I'm gonna give that a whisk, make sure they're all evenly distributed. Next, I'm gonna add water and I'm gonna continue whisking. Loosely wrap this bowl, just like that. One minute is up, let's take a look. Still liquidy, but we are gonna put it back in the microwave two more times. But now I'm gonna stir it with a wet rubber spatula. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, steaming. Oh, it's sticky. So I'm gonna stir it and then we're gonna put it in the microwave one more time. And afterwards, this should go from white to translucent. Loosely wrap it. Ow! Back to the microwave it goes. Kinda translucent. It is very sticky. However, it is looking more and more like mochi though. So I've put down some parchment paper onto the working surface, sprinkle some cornstarch on it. Now, time to transfer the mochi dough onto here. First, oh, that is hot. That is still hot. Time to use a trusty old tool. I'm gonna flatten the edges more. That looks good. All right, now that this is smooth and flat, transferred onto a baking tray, I'm gonna refrigerate it for 15 minutes. Onto the fridge it goes. I have a mason jar lid that's three and a half inches. I'm gonna be using this to make around pieces. I'm gonna start over here and I'm just gonna firmly push down, rotate it. I'm gonna grab a small piece and toss it on like that. I'm gonna attempt to form it. Is there a way to do this? Because this is not looking good. They look terrible. Three hours later, this is what it looks like. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, so what we're gonna do to redeem ourselves is to make ice cream balls. Just gonna line it up with Plastic wrap. I feel like that'd be a little too big for the mochi wrapper. The mochi wrapper is this big. Will that fit? I'm gonna take a measuring spoon a size of one tablespoon. Shape a ball. Pop this in the freezer and we will make more mochi pieces tomorrow. Here's our ice cream balls from the, that we froze last night. 
Uh oh. While that ice cream is solid, we wrap it up. Oh no, it's too big. <laughs> well, these are too big, that's for sure. Stretch it. Tuck it, stretch it, pinch, 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 pinch. Oh, close it. Close it. Good enough. Well, I decided to try again today because I was curious to see, I was curious to see how I would do with frozen ice cream balls. And it was a bit easier. However, the size of the ice cream balls that I made were a little bit too big. So it was hard to stretch the mochi dough to cover it. And it required me to touch the mochi ball and the ice cream ball a lot, resulting in the ice cream melting faster. So all in all, I think I did better today than yesterday. However, I still don't consider it a success. But the thing that stayed the same is that today's dough was as sweet and good and chewy as yesterday's doughs. So for me, as long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. But since this is my first and second attempt at making mochi ice cream, I will look to get better at it and continuously make it until I have made mochi ice cream that look like the ones you buy in the store. <sighs> But that's it for me today in this video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing a space with me here at our virtual table. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below your favorite mochi ice cream flavor. Until then, I'll see you next time.